Philip York, 2nd Earl of Hardwick FRS, the 9th of March 1720 to the 16th of May 1790, was an English politician. Topic: Life. The eldest son of Philip York, 1st Earl of Hardwick, he was educated at Corpus Christi College, Cambridge. He was appointed Teller of the Exchequer in 1738, a post he held for life. In 1741 he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society, he sat in the House of Commons as member for Reigate 1741 and afterwards for Cambridgeshire, he kept notes of the debates which were afterwards embodied in Cobbett's parliamentary history. During the political crisis over the loss of Menorca to the French in 1756, Lord Royston was tapped with collecting favourable press accounts of the ministry. He joined his father, as well as Lord Mansfield, to defend the Newcastle Ministry during the parliamentary inquiries following the execution of Admiral John Bain. He was styled Viscount Royston from 1754 till 1764, when he succeeded to the earldom on the death of his father. He inherited the Wimpole estate, Cambridgeshire which his father had bought from Edward Harley, Earl of Oxford. In politics he supported the Rockingham Whigs. He was Lord Lieutenant of Cambridgeshire 1757 to his death and High Steward of Cambridge University. He edited a quantity of miscellaneous state papers and correspondence, to be found in manuscript collections in the British Museum. Between 1756 and 1760, he served in the honorary position of Vice President of the Foundling Hospital, a charitable institution providing for London's abandoned children. He died in 1790 and was buried in Flitton, Bedfordshire with a monument by Thomas Banks. Works <laughs> 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 With his brother, Charles York, he was one of the chief contributors to Athenian letters, or the epistolary correspondence of an agent of the King of Persia residing at Athens during the Peloponnesian War, Four Vols, London, 1741, a work that for many years had a considerable vogue and went through several editions. Topic: Family. On the 22nd of May 1740, he married Lady Jemima Campbell, only daughter of John Campbell, third Earl of Breadalbane, and granddaughter and heiress of Henry Grey, first Duke of Kent, who became in her own right Marchioness Grey. They had two daughters. Lady Amabel York (1750–1833) married Alexander Hume Campbell, Lord Polworth, no issue. Lady Mary York (1757–1830) married the second Baron Grantham and had issue. He was succeeded in the earldom by his nephew Philip. 